Hey, and welcome back to Bane's Bites. I'm Bane. So today we're gonna to be doing something different again. Don't wanna do the same thing twice, that doesn't sound fun. We're gonna make something that my wife grew up eating. She has an aunt who's famous for them. They're a pretty well-known recipe around the South and, and they come out great. I've had them before, made them before. So let's go ahead and we're gonna make some holiday sausage balls. Now these are a pretty straightforward recipe. It's nothing complicated. There's a lot of tweaking and changing you can do, but I'm gonna show you how I make mine. I haven't had any complaints yet. So we've got some sausage, some Bisquick. I picked out some cheeses, we'll get to that. First thing I'm gonna do is I've got just a little bit of parsley here. I'm gonna chop it up, we're gonna throw everything in our mixer and get it all mixed up, we'll go from there. So our parsley's chopped up pretty fine. Just gonna grab it and add it right into the mixer. You can mix this by hand or with a hand mixer, whatever, whatever you want to use. You can use a spoon or just like meatloaf, but this one, I've got a stand mixer, so I'm going to use it. Quick cleanup, we'll move on to the next part. So the next thing we're going to add is some cheese, and I love cheese. I found some smoked one-year-old aged cheddar, which should be great. This is uh, 0.8 pounds. You can add as much or as little as you want. Some people add up to four cups. You can do two cups, however much cheese, and whatever kind of cheese you like, go for. Mm. Go get yourself a block, use a little elbow grease, and grate it yourself. So I didn't grate all of it, I kept a little bit because it's just too good. I might use a little bit of this tomorrow on some eggs or something like that, but save a little bit just for, for me. Now I've got some Parmigiano Reggiano, good old fashioned salty cheese. I'm gonna grate on the small side. Not too much, just a little bit. All right, so we got maybe half a cup there. Just a little bit, add some salt and a little bit of different flavor. We'll get this mixed in with the other cheese. We'll move on to the star of the show. So you can't have sausage balls without some sausage, right? I went with a classic Jimmy Dean hot. That's what I like. You get whatever kind you want. You could even do Italian or any kind of sausage you want. Whatever you think will be best, your favorite brand. We're gonna slice this open. I'm gonna kind of crumble it up and throw it into the mixer. As soon as I got the sausage in, I made sure to clean up everything, wash my hands real good. It's not something you want to cross contaminate with. So we've got our cheese, we've got our meat. Now, of all things, we need some good old fashioned Bisquick mix. And I'm gonna add about two cups and we'll see how it gets looking after we kind of mix it all up. All right. Once you got all that in, the last thing you need before we start actually mixing it and seeing what it looks like is one of your favorite barbecue rubs if you want. You can do salt and pepper, you can do garlic powder, onion powder, but Swine Life Mississippi Grit, definitely my favorite barbecue rub. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of it. All right, let's raise it up. Got the dough hook in there, and I'm just gonna put it on real low and slow and let it start to incorporate. Now you can see it's a little bit dry and it's not grabbing all that mix, so I'm going to start with about a tablespoon of milk just to add a little bit more moisture. I'm going to grab a spatula and just scrape down some of the edges and sides, help it mix up a little bit. Make sure all that parsley is coming up from the bottom. And probably about another tablespoon of milk. All right, we got it to the consistency I like. It's still pretty firm and thick, which is perfect. I'm gonna grab some spray, because I got my cooling rack, chicken rack down. I don't want them to stick, so just hit it with a little bit of spray. Yeah, there you go, quality. Fix that later. I'll make them about that big. It's almost like a doughy consistency. I'm 
Just like that, we're all done. I got the Traeger again up to 375 degrees. You can do them in the oven. You could do them lower and slower if you wanted, but 375, we're gonna check them about 10 or 15 minutes until we get them up to the right temp. So let's get them on. And I'll tell you what, these smell and look awesome. So we ended up cooking them for about 20, 25 minutes. You gotta make sure they hit 160 degrees just to be safe. Past that, they're not gonna dry out too much. Just go until you get a good color on them. And with that being said, it's time to try one of these. Now if you're making this for like a party or an appetizer, or something small with a bunch of people, you can obviously make them a lot smaller. But I'm gonna break a piece off. You can see that cheese in there. Oh, it smells so good. We've got three of our favorite sauces. We just got some barbecue sauce, a little honey mustard, and a little Chick-fil-A sauce because they seem to know what they're doing. I'm going to start with a little barbecue sauce and see how these are. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Dang. That right there is like a sausage hush puppy. They're so good. They're moist. They're smoky. Tons of flavor. Good crunch. Good color. Give them a try. They're really good. That's all we got for you this time. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel so you can see what we're coming out with next. And there's lots of fun stuff coming. And as always, y'all have a great day because I got to eat some more of these. Ooh, it's good. Let's try it with some honey mustard.